It is time to go. We are ready to go. Okay. Um, last week we uh, painted a bunch of dogs howling, which was, was interesting. So fun. Yeah, it was fun, and you guys did really, really well. There were some really solid paintings out of that. I was like, wow. And we painted once, pretty much one session, pretty quickly. Um, you know, four dogs, two couches, inside, outside, all in uh, one trip. That's pretty good. That's 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 a lot. And uh, but today we're gonna last. This is our last class together for uh, for a while. So I just figured, uh, you know, we'll try to get some things out of the way. And I've been owing uh, Alice in this a painting of her cat here for for a while. And uh, so I decided, yeah, let's get it out of the way. It's, you know, Allison has not been here all, uh, has had, uh, you know, it, family issues. So we'll go on yeah. to this. Yes. See, I, I put it nicely. You know, yes, fall yeah. down. So we'll take yeah. it. So let's have some fun with this. Uh, what's the name of this kit, cat? Well, uh, most of the time we call her Paluki. Paluki? Paluki. 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 Oh, Paluki. Nothing Paluki. easier. Okay, Paluki. Or Tuki. Tuki's easy. Tuki. Tuki. No, just Tuki then. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, ah, okay. That means cat. I'm, I'm going back to that. Don't you start okay. getting us all messed up right away. Oh, what about your dog's names? No one can pronounce them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you couldn't even do yours. Come on. Kaduki, whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's pull it up and let's go through the painting and see what we can do here. Uh, there we go. I just... When I saw this, I saw she had so many nice paint, nice photos of this cat. And of course, I picked the one where the cat's not looking at us. I um, re, you know, we got an eye and we got the side view. Ears, very interesting. Look at how sharp that ear is. Uh, yeah, I just like the profile. I'm just, you know, that was one of the big things that drew me in. You know, I figure always, um, I wasn't in the mood to do a full portrait where the cat's looking at us, where you have to get two eyes exact and nose exact. Um, that would take, could take, you know, most of the class just to get that right. And I probably wouldn't be right. So uh, I figured we'll go this way. This is where uh, it's, and this one's really, it's about the cat, but it's really about the setting too, that we see um, this background with all this beautiful light back there, all these beautiful greens against that really, look at that, that is a warm dark right there um, in that area. And that's gonna be key to get, get that right. We get this warm green, red green dark back there in, underneath everything, but before we come up with the blue blue greens and then end up with the yellow greens, that's what we want to do. We build it we build it right, and uh, the background will be, be ver uh, take care of itself. Uh, the cat, yeah. See, that's that's the thing. Uh, getting the cat to work, um, you know. There, there's a few things I would like to I would think about looking at maybe just taking this leg here and breaking this line because right now it has this line going here and I going straight down and I, I kind of want to kick this leg out just a hair to break this line so that's what I was thinking about doing for that because she already has this one slightly at an angle I know it's coming in and stuff but I'm going to take it out just kick it out just to break that line um there was a, a bench here. She had a bench here going back in here. I took it out um, because it was just getting too heavy. I wanted, I'd rather see greens going in here. So I took some greens over here and brought them in. Uh, there is some, some brick work 
in here too. It looks like I can, I'm just, and it had some nice shadows on it. You can start to see some of the shadows right in here. Uh, you know, a little dappled light, which I thought was really gonna be real fun to do. <clears throat> these colors, these pinks, look at these things. These are amazing. This, those are gonna be, uh, well, you know, with the with what colors we'll be using, it won't be able to probably get that fuchsia kind of pink color, but uh, we'll try. You know, we'll get as close as we can. That's the thing is about the color. As long as it's in the right temperature, it's right right value, you know, right color family. You, you're close enough. You don't have to be exact. You know, we got some back in here that are warmer than this one over here. Um, so that should be uh, interesting to, you know, get that depth, use those reds and stuff to get the depth we need. Um, but design wise, this is what's cool. This, you know, how is this wiggles in there? That is what we want to work on. Really get this to work. Maybe even take a little bit of that dark and bring it over here or something just to get, you know, get it to wind up and get that cat in there. A little bit more maybe not i don't think you need it there no no we won't put any dark over there because of his face is too dark right there i don't want to get really want i guess thinking about it i was thinking about yeah if we could get this dark could go back in there maybe but i think we can we'll, we can darken in down area areas here because i'm looking at uh the reason i didn't want to do that is because of the face the face is already that color if i put this anywhere close to this face uh, you're going to lose both. This little green right there underneath her, the chin, very important. These, this one too, up here. Then you got this pink right here. This kind of reminds me of the, the Obama uh, portrait where he's sitting in the ivy, ivory, ivy and stuff, his chair in the ivy and stuff. This is not that this is a cat, but you know, you know, those greens ro rotating around with flowers. It's very interesting. Um, you know, one thing I might do, I might cut down the table a little bit. I'm thinking about down here. I think it's just placed a little bit too much into the into the, into the show. So if I was gonna take anything away, I'd probably take take that away and just move everything down a little, in a little bit. And so making this green, the really giant, you know, you got the cat. The cat's always going to be the star of the show, but really making that uh, green impactful. <sighs> yeah, I think it's really great. Yes. Can I ask a question that that bar that piece of wood that goes across the very bottom is that a good thing to cut the other lines, or is that distracting? Which do you know what I mean? Would you take that yeah. out and just do the lines that are coming down, or or is that a, a good end? Yeah. To that? Yeah, I, you know, I'm going to fudge all this stuff pretty much. I'm not going to really concentrate on it, to tell you okay. the truth. I'm just going to kind of blend them all in. I will put a couple lines in here, I'm thinking, you know, but then I'm going to stagger them. I don't want them to be too perfect. Um, so I'm going to try to get, uh, I mean, I'll get them in the little, right length and going in the right direction because they kind of they, this is like a pers little perspective you know where everything kind of goes back to one spot um <clears throat> all i have to do is those lines i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna worry about where they meet i don't i'm probably gonna try and keep them from going off the the painting itself but oh, okay. it, i don't you know, yeah, you're right. I don't don't think that's a really big thing. If I would say, you know, just think about this light. Think about this shadow. Excuse me, get rid of this. Think about the shadow here on that on that table. More than thinking about uh, the light, you might even thinking about it too. You know, there you could sort of see a shadow here of the cat, right? So maybe we just build, the, I would probably just, in fact, probably strengthen that part 
and that will take away anything here. But we don't do anything. You don't put any information here. This will also bring us back and start getting us going back. So if you put that shadow in, I would definitely think about putting it in a little bit darker. Right now, it's yeah, it's barely anything there. But if we make more out of it, that means we might might have to pump punch up a few spots here on, on the the cat itself. But um, that's what I'm thinking about doing, but we'll see. We'll see. I, you know, how much I punch it up, it kind of has to correlate with that shadow, how much I we pump up any any light in that shadow. I kind of have to, you know, work together. Uh, but we also have this, just this beautiful light on this garden back here, you know, uh, and just, just a nice, such a nice, nice design already happening we don't have to do hardly anything we just paint it and we should be fine um okay any questions yeah jim what about the blue collar oh, is it good God. to leave it or take it out well, let's see if we took it out You could do either one. I mean, I would say that would be the last thing I'd even think about. If I was doing this like like as a commission or something like that, you'll find out collars are important to the owners and stuff, it seems like. So you might want to put it in. Um, if you were doing this as, you know, this is a nice cat. It's going to be owned by somebody. So um, putting a collar on it would be fine. Uh We'll see about, it's one of those things I'll do it, I do at the end, because I don't want to spend any more time on the collar than I do on the, you know, anything on the fur. So it's going to be pretty quick. It's, I want, it has to be painted in the, that same uh, gestural uh, brushwork and stuff. So if you spend too much time on it, trying to get little things right, sometimes it just pulls your eye right to here and takes you away from the whole, really, the whole impact of the whole focus. You know, this is not the most important thing. So it's like, yeah, we we'll put it in, we can put it in at the end <clears throat> or not. We won't think about it. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, if it's, yeah, it's your cat, you can put it in easily. Uh, we'll take a no, shot I'd, at I'd it rather, at the end. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather leave it out. No, we're Just... putting it in then. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> no, we'll leave. We'll leave it out for now. We'll leave it out. She has a different collar on now these days, right? Or is it a he? No, it's a she. No, no. It's, it, she has the same collar on. We're cheap with collars here, but <laughs> it's faded <Okay>. somewhat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about. Anybody else? Any other questions? All right, let's go back to, let's go over and play at the uh, uh, palette and see what we can do. Um, oh, boy, there we go. Let me pull it up on my computer limit, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Color-wise, it isn't too bad. Uh, you sure? I didn't bring it. Sorry, I'm going to have to meet you guys. Sorry. No, it happens. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't just you. you know, it's always, ever, you know, that's the way it goes. But, Mary Beth, I expect you to unmute yourself to just to, to ask questions here. And that's okay. You know, that's what this is about. All right, so um, again, way we start. Uh, colors, just uh, titanium white. I'm just going to go with titanium white again. I'm not putting in from elbow. Uh, cad yellow light, cad red, or uh, cad yellow, cad orange. Got it right finally. This is cad uh, red light. This is a cad medium here. Uh, that just happens to be out. From a painting, and it, I just have them not throwing it away because it's I haven't used it. Um, some more cad yellow red over here got moved around. Um, this is yellow ochre, 
that is still good. I probably should clean it up and get a little bit of the pollution out of there. This is oxide red. This oxide red is, uh, again, is Utrecht's oxide, oxide red, which is a lot warmer than the regular oxide red, which is this. This is almost cool compared to how dark that is. And the reason I put it back, I put it out is because I've been playing, have using this a little bit and it's come up with some really interesting colors. So it's like, I just left it out. Uh, this is alizarin crimson or rose matter if you eat, if you uh, have uh, Rembrandt's. Cobalt blue hue by Utrecht. Uh, then I have some ox, uh, burnt sienna and burnt umber, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and phthalo green. Phthalo green, yeah, will play a lot in this painting. We're going to jump off right into it. I'm going to get these, I want to get these really warm darks first. And that's where I'll go with uh, green and burnt umber. Green and burnt umber. This is going to be on green Jim, side first. Yes. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Are you using cadmium yellow light or lemon? Uh, light. Okay, thank you. See how long it's been. She hasn't painted in so long. She Poor can't me. Even remember what colors I use. There you go. So this is phalo. This is phalo green and burnt umber. And you can see that's on the burnt umber side. I'm going to take just a little bit of this pile, put it over here, and then push the burnt umber side. That's almost too much, but burnt numbers are kind of a weak color. But I tell you one thing it's gonna happen on this painting, it's gonna dry, be dry by tomorrow. If I have any, if I, whatever I have burnt number in, it will be definitely be dry tomorrow. Um, I just painted a painting and it's like, it was dry that night. So you gotta watch it. Cause it will, you know, if you're gonna use it, you gotta really know that you gotta have, get your painting done. Uh, next color. Still, I'm going to stay with the greens. I'm going to work on these greens first. Because uh, I think those are going to be reflected in the cat a little bit. Again, phalo green. And I'm going to go with a warmer one. I'm going to go with uh, oxide red. This is going to give me my, like, basically red greens. This is a little dark. Let me go on the red side. There we go. We start to see just a little red out of that green. There we go. Just a little bit of red mix on the green, you know, green side. That's going to be all over in the middle here. It's it's going to be in there, but it's going to be behind everything. I'm going to make just a slightly bigger pile. That's got a little bit too, too much red in it. And I kind of screwed that up just back and forth. Just a little bit more phalo into it. Okay. That's just take it. There we go. Now it's too close together. Whatever. We're moving on. Uh, another few colors I want to have. Okay, I got I got my warm greens. I got to get my cool greens, but I'm going to go switch up and go with uh, blue and ochre for those first. Blue and ochre. Uh, I just want to have a couple dull kind of greens. I don't want to have everything, uh, you know, all the same. I'm going to have some of just a little bit more blue than that. Little cooler greens that don't, you know, if I have, if you have all your greens jumping in this thing, yeah, you're gonna have chaos. So you gotta really uh, use these bright greens uh, sparingly, right? 
really, so I'm going to work, make sure I got these warms, really darks, and then I have a couple really nice, cool blue kind of greens that are going to be back in here. That are going to play well with these dark, warm greens. Um, Jim, that's the blue and your blue and ochre. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's just blue and ochre. Just a little bit of blue and ochre. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do there. But to get the brighter greens, I'm like, I value wise, I don't think if I have to add any white to this color at all, you know, I'd be surprised. I think I can get get everything in here with these two light colors in that area and into here. So I'm going to leave that there. If I need to add white to it, I'll let you know. It, but I don't. If it is, it's just a hair. Um, the next thing I want to do, I'm going to take each one of these colors down, and I I will be adding. Cad yellow to them. Cad yellow. I added ochre to this one. I want to add just a little bit of cad, cad yellow to each one of these. So I'm just going to take a little bit of each pile down. Doesn't need to be much because because um, I really want on these green sides, these bright green sides. I'm looking for. So it is going to be probably a lot of cad yellow add it in. In value wise, let's go for that's about right. Might need a little white. You squint at it. It's probably going to be a four if you squint at it. And uh, you know it'll work out. This one, this these are uh, green and uh, phthalo green and burn umber mixed with yellow, cad yellow. A lot of cad yellow. Going to, like I said, just going to try and get these guys really kind of close and let the, just let the difference in color uh, uh, be the be the key thing here, not the difference in value. Make sure that the values are close. And so just the subtlety of changing these colors. Because I don't want to be using the same yellow green here on this plant that I'm using over here on this plant because that's probably a different plant. But these guys are getting awful close. So might have to bring in just a little bit more color. Let's keep them dark a little bit now, just to see. This one should have just a little bit more red in it. This one should have a little more green in it. I'll take a little bit of green, more green into it. Wow, that was a lot of green. We got, got St. Patty's Day green out of that. That's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. My son was born on St. Patty's Day. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's yeah, he had fun in college. <laughs> you want it that green? You want it that green? Yeah. I'm going to leave it there. I'm just, it's going to be a mess to keep changing it. No, I don't. I, I can use that green that's in here. So that's why I just left. I said, that's, it's going to be, it's, these guys are getting almost too subtle together. So I decided I'm just going to leave that one strong and go with these guys here and see what I can do here on these, these guys. These are the ochres and blue here. And yeah, you can see they just get get to a different value and stuff. They might, I'm going to have to probably take these guys down with yellow a little bit more, but I'm just going to do these guys, I think. Get these really strong, last bright yellow greens. Yeah. 
That is the last of my cat yellow. I don't know why I didn't put out more. But I think that's going to be enough. If not, I'll put it out later. All right, the cap. Let's say that's the basically the everything here. You probably going to have to need to put some cat yellow out for that cat. <sighs> Might be, you know. All right, I'm gonna look at the darks in that cut. Red, browns, and blue cools in things. Uh, we are gonna look at blue again. I'm gonna go with blue. I'm gonna go with burn umber. Blue and burn umber. This is going to be, probably looks like it's on the burn umber side. So I'll take just a switch of that, put it in here in the blue, make sure I have one in the blue side. So I'm going to paint, put down, down here and do all the cats, cat stuff down here, keep all the greens and pinks up here. So I got one on the blue side, one on the warm side. So this cat, very good. I want to look at another couple of browns. Uh, definitely want to try burnt sienna. That usually gives me a beautiful kind of warm gray. I'm doing the same thing, just a little bit on less on the burnt umber side on this side, so it's the blue. This is a burnt sienna with the blue. Yeah, burnt sienna. These first two are burnt umbers. These are burnt siennas. Burnt sienna has more red in it. Um, and uh, burnt umber is more on the yellow side when you bring it down. I think that's great. That'll do pretty much all this work. There's probably one more I probably have to have. That would be blue and oxide red. This will probably be doing the table too. So you might want a decent pile of this. This will get me. And the thing about painting these guys is we can use a lot of different colors in here as long as the values we use are close. You can get, get away with uh, mixing in cool colors with warm ones, as long as the value is uh, really close and uh, it doesn't, you know, of course it doesn't chalk out on you or something like that. But I could see it like right here in the chest, there's a little coolness right at the outside. So that, that definitely has some blue in it. So each one of these, now I will be just using white and bringing these guys down, but I'm gonna go for this mid-tone. I'm gonna look for this mid-tone hair right here. Jim, can I interrupt you, please? Um, what color is the last color? I'm sorry. Uh, last these color? are oxide red and blues. Oxide, oxide red. red. Oh, and right. Blue. Okay. This so is on the blue side. This is on the red okay. side. Okay. Okay. Sorry. No problem. I was surprised. I haven't heard from you all day. All day, and then all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to take these guys down. Value-wise, I'm looking at this, this, this leg color, the darker area color down in here. And I'm going to go for probably around the seven value, you know, and then be able, and then work it up a little bit with some more white, maybe some other ochres, and get it up to here to really that light, that light you squint down, doesn't get past the four. It's really four or five. So this do cat goes from Basically, this range is like from 10 to 5 right here. It's really on the dark side, except for when you get into this, just a couple spots of light fur. So it's all value changes. That's what it's all going to be, just changing value. So let's add just a little bit of white down here to each one of these colors. This might even be too much. I'm going to take these guys down a little bit less. I don't think I need that much. And just bring this, bring a pile of this down. I don't need that much dark. 
but yeah, you can start to see this where this color, this is burnt umber and blue. You know, you might be able to start seeing it in some of these darker areas. That is on the burnt umber side. This is on the bluer, bluer side. And like I said, that one probably way too light. Get it down there. You might not see this one that much, but this might also be in some of that cooler fur, fur but maybe not. Wipe my knife. Okay. This is where I was thinking this is gonna end up being right here. Burn umber, burn sienna in blue. That's why I put it out in white and getting it. It's, that definitely is in the family, right? Okay, this is really, really close. It probably could go just a little bit more burnt umberish. So I'm gonna make a decent pile of this. Oops, got a little bit too much. Uh, I thought that was the burnt sienna one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. Sorry. Oh, it, okay, cool. It's a burnt, it's a burnt thing. Okay. Burnt sienna. You're right. Good, good call. This is, these are the burnt umbers. You can see them on the cooler side. When you burn umber, it has a lot more red in it. And so it is on the red. You're definitely on this side, you know, so I'm going to add it just a little bit more uh, burnt umber in it. And it gets me right there to, uh, where I need to be. So that's a good to have a good pile of that. This one too, this is on the burn umber and blue side. Burn sienna. Yes, thank you. Burn sienna, <laughs> got me again. I'm gonna add just a little bit more burnt sienna to this one to make sure. This would be nice to have a cool version, warm version, that way I can flip things pretty close. You're gonna find it definitely down in the shadow areas and start to get into the face. So I have a decent pile of these two I'd like to have because I will probably, will probably need to uh, make these colors bigger to get, you know, to get these other ranges of color on, on the, the cat. Oxide red and blue. Yes, on the blue side, value-wise, just not doing too much in here. But, like I said, it will do the table. So I'm definitely gonna make a little bit bigger pile of this. And I'll bring this over here to the same thing here with the red version of it, this purple. I will probably be doing the pushing the shadow down in here just a little bit more than it is. So I'm gonna leave these guys here, but they need to be this. I can use this for basically a little bit shadow color, but these colors really need to come down with white. Everything's gonna have to come down with white one more step. This thing will paint itself when we're done though. This might take a little bit of time I'm going to leave the, I'm going to take those two down, white, and get them to probably around a four-ish. Right now, they're pretty dark. Not too much, just a nice couple steps down from those. And this is the oxide red and blue. Oxide red and blue with white. So basically, I just took it down a couple steps. I kept them right here, right around a seven. And then I'm bringing these down to probably about a five to do this, to do the, to do the table. Probably just slightly dark, but that's okay. I'm also going to take these guys down like that too. Just Blue and uh, burnt umber. I'm going to take those guys down a little bit too because I want to intermix. These are 
be nice warm woods in here. So it'll be nice to have some play there. I'm gonna add just a little, lost a little bit of pile here. So I'll be able to use these colors and these colors together to make that, that table. These colors here in the middle, the burnt sienna and blues, basically for the cap. Um, these are for the dark fur. Now we need to work on the light fur. Uh, I was gonna add white to it a little bit, bring, take, take a piece of these guys and add white to each one of these guys and try to get it to a mid-tone value, probably about a four. So I'm gonna bring in some white into these guys. They're right now at probably seven. So it might not take too much white to, to bring them up, just to get, the, get through the value and then I'm gonna change them a little bit. One more step. And this one is the blue and burnt sienna? Burnt sienna. These are burnt sienna and blue. Yeah. Uh, and basically, I just cut them with white. This is on the burnt sienna side. This is definitely on the blue side. I figured that blue is just going to kind of work, end up start washing out at this when it, you, you get it up here. And it'll be nice to be able to get into these certain areas here will be, be real nice. All right. So this is the basic fur color, burnt sienna and blue on the burnt sienna side with white all the way down to about, about a four. That's my pile right here. Jim, my... um. Uh, red oxide and uh, blue is very, it's gray and yours looks a bit purple. I probably have just enough. I probably have, which oxide red do you have? Um, Rembrandt. Hmm. Oh, because hmm. I was thinking about this, it could be this other oxide red here. All right, okay. You know, just a switch of oxide reds. You know, this might even be Venetian I have out. Yeah, I have Venetian and it looks different. Yeah. So. Um, mine looks a little purple. That's probably because I have a little more red and blue in my colors. Okay. Probably just a hair too much white. But this is the color I get when I use this other oxide red of uh, Utrecht. Right. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, Jim. It's a, it's a, yeah, but I don't want to use. Go ahead. Okay, my um, a burnt sienna, burnt sienna and blue. On my on the on the on the blue side. It's very gray compared to yours. Yours has a little more taupey color to it. So do I yeah. need more blue? Um, more. Yeah, you might need a little bit more blue. If it's too gray, if it's too too pooped out, you gray. probably have just a hair. This is what it should look like at the bottom. Yeah, it's it it, it, very it, poop, it, pooped out. So you might yeah, just have too much actually, white. Mine has, little, mine has a little blue to it, but like, like a little blue cast to it. That's so, okay. Okay. That yeah, just but, means to just I hear too much blue. Maybe bring in some more burn out, burnt sienna then. Okay. Yeah. Because um. Yeah. Yeah. Because this cat is not gray. That's okay. Okay. Oh, oh my god! And then I put too much of it. <laughs> All right. So here's burnt sienna and white. Burnt sienna, burnt burnt sienna, blue and white on the burnt sienna side. Definitely, we need to get some ochres and make this color, this area interesting. We probably have to even lighten it up one more step. I probably could have, but I want to add some ochre to one side of this. Just to get that warmth in here, start to get that warmth. So, my piles, get this out of the way for I can make a pile. 
my piles have just petered, making just enough instead of just making overdoing it. I keep getting this dark. Jim, is that just ochre and white? Is that what you're just doing? Just ochre, white, and uh, added into my burnt sienna and, and um, mix coming down. I split that pile. This one, I want to have some ochre in it for up here. This side, I want to have some uh, cad red to it. And of course, I got a strong cad red and it just kind of just took over. That's what happened. So I got to add, add some more burnt sienna and blue to it and then Add some white to it. Just to get these other extra colors. Just to, to, to get this cat to work. Uh, that's it's going to be in here at the top. And you're going to find it in the sides here. You're going to find a lot of this. Um, God, that burnt sand looks dead. Color looks okay, could you start over with that color? You started with ochre and white. Yeah, this color is just burnt sienna and, and uh, blue uh, with white. I took, it, I took it down here. I add, I split it with two, two piles. One I added ochre to. So, it, and then oh. one I, I added cad red to. I added too much cad red to it, so I added some more. Had to have, add some more white to it. I might even take these guys down and take them to to a higher key just for the end end fur here. So that would could be like a number two. So if you just add just a save your pile, just add a little bit of white to the bottom part of it. You're trying to get these really, you know, higher key things. That's all it's going to be at the end. Okay, that is it. That is the cat. My palette is full. No more room. Okay, one more color. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure. Well, we didn't make the pink up. We didn't make what? We didn't make any of the flowers. Oh, God, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Just, don't worry about it. They're, they're simple. I'm not going to do too, too much. I'm just going to put in, um, mix a couple of these simple pinks of uh, alizarin and uh, in white. more white and that's okay and I'm going to go for the one right around its nose value which is about right there and that is a probably ends up being about a six when you you look at it that's I can use that for a lot of this stuff I'll probably have to make a little darker one just to get the, some shadows and stuff um so that's going to take care of pretty much all these one flowers. The ones in the back in this side, all I'm going to do is take this color and add some cad red to. To it. And, and that's it. I'm just going to use the, the strength of the cad red to darken it. and to do, do the damage. These are going to be dots. Jim, were you, using, were you using CAD red medium or light? I was using light, but I might have hit, I, it might have hit some of that red. Might, okay. I do got a little red there too. If you have medium, that'd be fun. Oh, look how rich that got. Definitely. Oh man. 
And it's good color. Then all of a sudden that really popped. Really made this was color that, look Was different. that with light or medium? I think it, I, I hit both, in fact. I think I hit a little bit of the red, medium, and so it has a little bit of medium cad red in, in, let me see, let me see. One second. I like that color, but, so I'm wiping my knife. This is uh, just blue, white, and, uh, and uh, alizarin. Let me just, Put in definitely just cad red into it. Okay, that's just cad red added to it. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see if cad medium happens to <clears throat> change it. So really, yeah, it's a totally different color. <laughs> what it was was a mix of the two probably just a slight mix mostly cad cad red though cad red light that's cad medium that's cad red that's almost in between these guys so i probably i did like i said i think i got them both and so uh, for two years i used cad medium because that's what i had i finally bought cad light and now you're talking about cad medium <laughs> no, I just, you know, hey, you know, I waited, I had, I, I waited at that store till you bought it, <laughs> and then I decided I'm going to change it. You know That's that? what I thought. I could tell. On this one, even on the, this, uh, the Lizarin one here, <laughs> just, just make sure you have, maybe just have one little side of it, just a little more Lizarin added to it, just to have a, variation of the color that's all we need all right six hours into this uh into this mess and we finally got a paint we got a palette that's okay this is our last one you guys should all be very fast at painting right hey by the painting way okay so this uh, we are not painting next week are we off next week we are done this is it <laughs> Eight classes. I know, but are we start never again? <laughs> now that's when I I, <laughs> now I, I, want, I can't I can't yeah the next one will be in April. Okay, that's what I need to know. Yeah, it will be uh, probably second week of April. Okay. Um, yeah, I got a I got a couple things coming up. Um, I had to have to go to. Uh, Charleston for a show, so Ooh. I'm not going to be, I won't be able to, so I didn't want to start something before and then sure. stop, but we are going to be stopping anyway. I got a bunch of workshops going on too now, but uh, <coughs> yeah, so that's why I added a, a, an in-person workshop. I know it is. <laughs> coming up on the Allison, you can come and stay at my house to go to the in-person workshop. Thank there you, you go. so much. That's so cool. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to go to France in August, unless it's all booked uh -huh. up. Yeah. Oh, you want to come? Yeah, I'd love to come. Great. Yeah. But I, it's, uh, I'm, everything is so last minute for me now because two uh, unwell parents and, um, yeah, uh, so it's just... And, I, and I, I do have three siblings, but poor me, I'm the oldest, so <laughs> it falls on my shoulders. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Um, yeah, we'll save you a spot. No worries. Thank you. It's a pretty, uh, I think we are at, we're at like nine and we can do 13. So Ooh. still wait on a few people. Okay, there we go. We got our colors. Did I go through those colors? <laughs> we have uh, uh, green and uh, burnt, sien burnt umbers up here, phthalo green burnt umbers. Here we have green and oxide reds. Here we have blue and uh, ochre on the ochre side, on the blue side, brought them down with some cad, cad red yellow light. 
Um, this one got carried away, but I just left it because I was just, it's just getting a mess. I was going to use up my whole pile up here of uh, green and oxide red here together. And I did use it up. And now I'm just making a mess. Oxide red is almost as strong as phthalo green. Um, yeah, I brought those guys down. Then we went to the cat. We had burnt umber and blue on these two with white. We brought them down. Uh, they, and then I found out, I figured this is going to also work in um, in here and more, more in, in, in the cat and probably find it more in the tables. But the burnt umber, burnt sienna and blue hit, hit the, the darks on the nose, which is really nice. But we brought those guys down and on the burnt sienna and the blue side here, on the burnt sienna side, we found, I found the, the real basic color for the cat. And then uh, we took and did broke it down to some lighter values for warm ones, cool ones, red ones, and yellow ones here for this side. This side is on the blue side of uh, burnt sienna. And uh, we didn't do much with it. We just brought it down and uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, this is oxide red and blue on the blue side. On the purple side, we brought it down with white. Um, trying to get it into this value here. It probably could go a little bit lighter, it looks like. This is just the difference between oxide reds. This oxide red and the the one I got from uh, Utrecht, just a lot warmer. You know, I mean, that doesn't even look like the same color. Um, over here, we just did the flower colors. Flower color colors, we started here with just alizarin and white, just getting in right to the right value, right under his nose. Maybe just a slightly darker one. Um, here, we just took a piece of that, that color here, just add cad red to it but i also got a little bit of cad medium into it so this is cad red cad red looks like this is what the cad medium together together they made that and that is it now we're going to go back and start our painting with two minutes to go two minutes to go in the class and we're going to start our painting <laughs> oh man all right, bringing it back. I'll bring you guys in for this one too. Okay. And we're going to paint right over this dog painting we did last week, too. So uh, I want to make sure you guys are all cool with that and you had this one done. No. Okay, we'll put it away. We're back in the drying rack. It's dry, though. It dried pretty quickly. Oh. <laughs> yes, we're going to start with a do a take this paint this and make a horizontal painting. Hope you guys are happy. Gonna make it tough. So here's our cat. Okay. Everything rocking and rolling here. All right. Uh, colors. I'm gonna go with a burnt sienna uh, background. Nice warm background of burnt sienna. Maybe a touch of burnt umber into it, but burnt sienna, maybe, yeah, burnt sienna, just a touch of burnt umber into it. Because of, uh, I just grabbed them very quickly. And clean oil, which I wiped out, that was good. Start off some clean oil. I will spend the rest of the class just drawing it in. Maybe that's what it ends up being. I don't know. But that's the thing about painting and uh, doing portraits, things like that. It's just like half of it is, is just painting and drawing at the same time. 
to burnt sienna. Somewhere there's going to be a cat in here. Just want to catch that part of this table going leading in from the side. That's what I'm thinking about. Just making sure it leads into the painting. Keep this uh, table at the bottom third, almost quarter. Keep it low and let this uh, let the cat breathe in there. I'm going to make sure I have a lot of color to burn sienna down here at the bottom of the painting because I want I want the you know these grays and stuff I got to put in here. I want them to mix a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to finish this up. In this dark, okay. Okay, I'm gonna mute you, everybody, again. Got a lot of extra noises going on. All right, rub it out. I'm trying to get the very bottom of my painting. Been having a problem getting them doing the bottoms. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Um, all right, cat wise, placing that cat in. I don't want them too close to the bottom, at least a couple inches away from the bottom. You know, and probably here's the the third third lines. Definitely want to get, you know, get the cat just over this third line here. And not too hot, too high in, in the painting. So if I can just by you know getting the top where you want the cat in the bottom, we can do the measuring and kind of get, uh, figure out the rest, like chest about halfway between here and here. It's about chest is gonna come up. And between from the ear, say that this was the ear right here coming out, you know, to where the eye is to is the same distance to about the nose. Let's try and get the angle right. This is slightly more angled to the nose and then the ears. I've had problems doing too short of ears lately, so I always kind of feel like I'm hedging my bet by making a little bit longer ear. Right here comes down to almost if the eye was right here, you know, right there. So the back of the ear is going to come down to there. Always, I'll take a look at these ears. This ear does look a little bit long. That's okay. Back of the head still comes around here a little bit. They said with the arms coming in. Just here, at least it's covered. We don't have to do bottom paws because of the uh, tail covers them up. Okay. 
with the cat. Looks like a one and a half head. Like a lot of things come right off the bottom of his, paw, his, his head, coming straight down, even the paws come inside that area. Well, like I said, I'm just going to push this, at least the chest out just a hair more and uh, kick this leg out that comes down in here, just kick it out just a hair just to break this line being too, too perfect, too, too, too much of a straight line. And I'm able to really bring out this fur on this neck patch here, trying to just make sure I don't have this line, too, too much of a straight line going on here. Just little pet peeves I have. I wanna make sure it's right, it's not there. That's probably more for you guys than for me. I'm definitely gonna hopefully watch. Yeah, maybe I, you know, I'll make sure, you know, okay. <clears throat> yeah, the tail we can have some fun with too. All right, like I said, I was gonna bring the table down a little bit more down in, in the ear area, right? And it's nice to it have a little angle and stuff. You can either put the angle in you know, it has, or you can have two angles if you want. Um, I'm not sure. I don't really, it's not a big thing if you just want to do one angle coming in the back corner of the table, just leaning in. Okay. Flowers here. This is my dark area. This is what I want to do. This is where I want to, you know, really, you know, push the things and, and go in here and stuff. So, Everything should come into the space a little bit right into here. And you got the back here too, back over here. Trying to keep them from falling too much into the middle. We will see, this is a little too high. Okay. I'm gonna start off my darkest dark again. They have been phalo green and um, for the back, I'm gonna paint the back in here first I'm gonna get this all dark so I'm gonna go with the phalo green and um, burnt burn umber and get there's this one spot right behind his head especially against his white fur we'll just key this thing off excuse me it's the burn umber side yeah 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 I'm on the burn umber side I think Yeah, definitely on the burn umber side. And I'm just gonna wash my brush up, make sure I get right behind his head, pretty, pretty strong. All right, I want a good, good co clean color there. But then I just wanna kind of wash out my brush on the, on the outsides here. I just wanna make sure this color gets in here everywhere. Right back in here though, it can be a lot lighter, but it comes around into the face here. Okay. Well, I should, probably could have could have started off with the cat's face too. Might have been a good idea too. So let's let me finish this up. And then I'll go into the cat's face and we'll nail that. Here I'm going to the oxide red and green mix. This one, that's the burnt burn umber. This is oxide red and phalo green. I'm gonna put that back in here in this top of the painting. This one, the more streaks and things I do here, probably the better. And that's going to come into his face. And I'm going to use it down here at the bottom too a little bit. More on the 
green side at the bottom, red side back there. I'm gonna go green here because it's in the cooler light. That's my thinking, it's in the cooler light. I wanna keep it just a little bit cooler greens, but it still has some red into it. Maybe I'll bring, do the same up here, just right at the edges in here, just bring in a little more of that, that red here and just blend it together. I mean, the, the green, just the phthalo green and oxide red. I just use that a little bit on the outside to make a difference. Get rid of that corner too. Get rid of this corner too. Just keep starts to get a little bit of everywhere there. Okay. Take them right into the table. A little bit of warm warmth over here again. I'm going to go back to the red side of that fatal green and just near the cat. This bush back in here just could have just a little bit of warmth. Okay, just want to get rid of a little bit of light. All right. Got rid of everything back there. Okay. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush to get the uh, pound the cat's face in now. Make sure you go. All right. Now we're going to go. Now we got a little bit of color back there just to get, get us going. Now we can uh, start working on the cat's face. Working on uh, the darkest darks, my darkest darks here of uh, blue and, and, uh, Burn sienna. I'm going to try and start marking uh, his mask here. I'm going to go with the blue on the blue side. Or the nose, the back, of the top of the eye here, and then uh, to his nose. This, these sides here, I'm going to hit with the burnt sienna in blue, but on the blue side, right? Into the mask. Okay, I'm going to switch to on the red side, I, uh, sorry, burnt sienna side. for this cheekbone right here. The, the cheek comes in right in here. So this has more burnt sienna in it. And might have to add just a touch of cad red to it, it looks like too, just to pop it out. But just a touch more, just not, just that richness coming in right in, in this dark right here. Oh, this chin coming out. I'm just gonna blend that out into his jaw and into the neck. So I just added a little red, uh, cad red to my burnt umber and blue, or burnt sienna and blue mix. Just to get some more, just a little more warmth. Uh, I was hoping the, uh, the burnt sienna was doing the trick, but it was just wasn't as strong as I was rich enough right in here to pop, to make a difference between that cool and this warm. I'm going to take that up and do his ear. Again, it's going to be probably warmer on the outside of his ear here. 
and then a little cooler. Everywhere else, so I'm going to go really cooler. Gonna connect these two. Getting that angle right. Off by a lot. So I'm going to bring in that red side right in, in here in the middle of the ear. Maybe just a little more cad even at the bottom here. To pop it a little bit more. It's starting to work. It's just almost after almost putting pure cad red right in here and then brush it back through one more brush it push it back by touching it one more time okay all right i'm just going to blend that out a little bit back in here I'm going to put just paint in his head a little bit. It's going to go with the ox fur number and uh, burnt sienna, sorry, burnt sienna and blue mix uh, with just a touch of white into it and just get the back of his head going here. It starts to get the shape of the ear. I think this color. I might be able to get that right in here too. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit dark. Okay, not bad though. I'm gonna put it in just in these fur creases. I'm going to keep going with that color. This is probably right around the seven ish value, you know, the first step down we did. Uh, and this is going to be on the red side. Here. And what I'm thinking about is getting it underneath the fur first. I want to get this color underneath. The fur. I'm thinking about this next layer of color, grabbing this color and blending it out and doing a, doing its trick. So this color basically, I think, is going to go through a lot of this cat. Um, really on the red side, back here on behind the ear, on the back of this head. So I'm going to use this there and there mm -hmm. and i'm just going to go through and just do the darker areas again this is going back to the where i just added just a little bit of white to just to do these back areas the back uh, where it's whoosh, she does get a little darker right here on the back and just get that, start to get a little bit better drawing going now. And it's just got this halo effect of the fur, which kind of echoes the light. And her back leg here, very dark, goes right into the tail, tail comes out. We'll put the tail in a little quick to it then. But then I want to get this markings of where her uh, legs are, right? Nice thing about her is uh, everything's kind of self-contained. These colors don't really um, go a lot of other places. So, uh, and 
color wise, you know, there are some cool, cool versions of these things, but they're real subtle. So it's kind of fun to, to really look for these, gonna look for these value changes and these little cools, warms right in here. Up here would be your collar, collar would go in right in here if we put it in. That's why I'm just, yeah, you know, hedging your bet, just putting it, I can, it's not like a, anything more than a, uh, a brush of changing colors. This side over here, that's warm, very warm. And everything on the, this side, I'm gonna stay on the blue side, I think. I'm gonna go on the chest side. Uh, everything here is gonna be on the cooler side. Even in, inside here, the leg, kind of put it with the, the warm, but I'm gonna come back and put in the cool heavier right here on the inside of the, to separate this warm leg coming out and uh, everything, just find these little cooler pockets. So it's basically ox, basically the same color, just on the blue side. So I'm using burnt sienna in blue, uh, but more on the blue side right here. And I'm gonna do this leg too coming in. Like I said, I wanna just kick it out just a hair more. We'll see. There we go. And I can just, just soften these things together a little bit. I can sort of see where the fur is gonna, gonna end up being and marks and stuff so I can get things in place. I you know, get it to this point, then maybe do a check on it, you know, drawing check to see. Uh, you know, if I got the right, right height and, you know, things are popping up right and shoulders are hitting right in the right spots. You know, this head is not coming over too much. Just like that. Um, I'm going to clean out my brush. I want to put in the tail too. Just going to slap that in. So I want to kind of clean in there. And um, right now it's about the cleanest it's going to be. Um, so I'm going to put in the just a little burnt umber and blue here instead of uh, oxide red. It has just a blue tinge to it, cooler tinge in this fur right in here. And I'm gonna, yeah, definitely gonna paint that whole tail oxide red and, no, oxide red. Did I say oxide red? Burnt umber and blue. Burnt umber and blue. I'm gonna get that point. I'll get that layer. We get this pretty much. It can be on the blue side here, mostly on the bottom. Then on the little bit of warmth comes in, so it's more uh, on the red side or the oxide or umber side, the top right up in here. Goes a little bit redder too. So I might add just a touch of cad red to that color. And just get this like light right here on this top edge of the her tail. And that tells me a lot. When I did that, that really worked. That really glowed. That tells me I probably can probably edit up right in here in this cheek too. That's where I was kind of having trouble trying to. Yeah, not dark enough. Oh, well, I'll get it. So that's basic what the cat's going to be in here. I'm just going to get these outside arms a little bit. I'm 
based on washing out that uh, fur number and blue mix and with a little bit of cad red i'm just running that out of my brush right here uh finding that you know instead of just wiping it out well then i know it's going to work right in here in these arms and in these creases i want to get them in the dark creases that are going to help uh pop these arms out for makes make some sense out of these uh, arms and things so right there maybe just a little darker up here too right in the chest you don't have to be right yet that's a nice thing you just be get close uh might as well paint this guy in real quick too i'm gonna go back to my big brush and um I'm going to start with the uh, burnt umber and blue mix. It's kind of a warm mix. Uh, burnt umber and blue with just a little bit of white added in here. It's still very cool. That's burnt umber. It's on the burnt umber side. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about the, the lines at this point. I want to get texture. I want to have goofness, goofy stuff going on here. So it's like loose brushwork going in behind here. I don't want to have all my brushwork uh, the same all over. I want to have some loose qualities to it, haphazardness. That, because that, when I do that, that tells everyone not to take and look at this guy and say it's a photograph it's really tells you that it's a painting and that it is not to be uh you know looked at as a you know perfect uh rendition of uh of a photo stuff is like you really took it a little different okay um okay that's this is the that's the blue on the behind him is uh, burn, burn umber and blue mix uh, with white. Um, we're back in here. It's on the red side. It's because it has a little bit of umber in it, more umber in it. What I want to do here, I want to go to, I'm going to switch to burn, uh, oxide red and, uh, and blue now for the front area here. And this is on the red side. And you can see, just because of that color, the color in that, that the purple coming through here, that, that just kind of jumps forward at you. And that's what we need to have, you have to have happen. You need to get this color here to come forward. And again, I'm using the burnt, um, burnt sienna of uh, our, uh, underneath color. Jim, can I ask a question um, about the other ear, which I actually didn't, I had to draw that in myself after I drew the other, I didn't realize that other ear is in the picture. Yeah. Okay, what color do you have the ear? Uh, back there, I will, it will probably be, be uh, on the blue side. Okay. Of, uh, and it might even be, be burn umber. I think okay. it's burn umber and blue. Okay. And um, maybe that I'm, there's a little, that little hinge or pop in it. Um, okay. That's going to be a warm, that has some cab red in it. Oh, okay. 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 The shadow. Definitely going to push the shadow, like I said, a little bit here. I can see it kind of kind of going back in here. Change change it a little bit just to get that shadow to kind of, kind of start bringing this thing around. This also tells me a few other things here. This oxide red and blue. You start being in the highlights in that cat's tail. 
That's be good. I'm gonna keep it kind of blue. It's a little bright, a little dark. A little bright too. I mean, no, it can't be bright and dark. I mean, it's just a little bit dark. So I'm gonna have to add some white to the color. I might need to warm it up just a little bit more too. Um, let me add some white to these colors. I mixed it in with the color first. I said, I'm not going to want to keep it kind of really kind of loose. And then when I, want, when I put the lines in, that will tighten it up. Let me bring this around to the back a little bit too. Just lighten that back up with just a touch more. Just that's a little not interesting. So a little bit too too much white, just not a little warmth and I'm just adding a little warmth. Burnt sienna to it, to it here a little bit too. Yeah, a little burnt sienna left over from my toning back in here. Just adding that into this mix too, just to loosen it up a little bit, just to tie it all together. It just turns a little cooler than I thought it would. So I'm warming it up with just a little more burnt sienna into the color. And that was uh, oxide red and blue. Now I'm just putting in just a little burnt sienna to warm up uh, this front area a little bit. It just cooled off and just kind of dropped off a little bit. So I'm just gonna make sure it works. All right. That. All right, next. We're going to go in and put, start putting in the mid-tone greens now. I'm going to leave the cap right there. I think that's a good good spot. You know, stuff's going to fade out. I want to just get some uh, color and stuff going in here. I'm going to switch to a regular, regular a number 12 type synthetic here. There are a couple little bricks in here I like, kind of yellowish, warm yellow kind of square bricks. It's not enough bricks, I'm not even sure what it is. But I need, I'd like to have something a little strong, kind of like this, you know, structure wise things in here just to uh, set this off. But there's We're getting an hour to finish this thing. Can we do it? We can do it. We, there you go. <laughs> I got you on my side. <laughs> and that for long. You know, but you know, hey, it's a start. Yes. <laughs> Most of the stuff up here, I can, I think I, in the face, in the back side of the face, I'm probably softening anyway a little bit. I would say probably his their eye on this is going to be reflecting a lot of this yellow green, right? You know, so if you hear, you know, just gonna be a touch of bright green or something like that, probably in his eye. 
going to be reflecting in here. Right now, I'm just going to go through and just get these uh, mid-tone greens put in. I'm using, uh, uh, well, this is actually red and green. Basically, I took the one I added just a little bit of cad yellow to, and I'm going back up and just took it back and darkening it in. Give me a mid, slightly more mid-tone than what I made up. Just a slight, slightly darker value of it because it's. I just want to have a range of greens as at the as I go, trying not to use, trying to straighten this ear out. Yeah, I'm putting in the darks underneath first because of. It'll be a lot easier to uh, lay in those lights right next to to the ear if I have most of them put in there, right? And there is some pinks. Of course, I just screwed up to put green where it was going to be pinks, but uh, we'll fix that. The ears goes in there, too. I didn't get that. Okay. Just a few spots, other spots. I'm going to look for that color before I take off. Trying to get the insides of this bush just a little bit darker, maybe. Before I go down right in here. And like I said, I was just going to try and make sure that they're not everything's the exact same value, like there is some changes going on here. So, really just washing my brush out. Ooh, that's a nice one. We're really dark one over here in the edge. Really kind of nice that. We'll set these one flowers off right here. I get a really nice dark right in here. And this will also help me bring the bring the whole, everything around, you know. So cheat it a little bit if you have to. Gonna bring that brick. I want brushwork too. I don't want it, uh, you know, too perfect. I mean, you want a little bit of craziness in your brushwork. Little bit, Mary Beth. Little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to find out my cat's really well, not drawn very well, but as long as I have the colors right, I can, you know, say it's impressionist. <laughs> All right, Nick, I got. Got a lot of worms in here. I got went through and kind of darkened in that area because the darker I make that, the, when I put in the light leaves and stuff, I don't have, because I'm only going to be putting in small sections of bright leaves. But I want to get that dark because that's just going to kick those guys and make them look twice as bright. And that's going to really create that light. Um, but before I get to there, I'm gonna go through, I gotta go through my cool leaves, finish those guys off, Let's put those guys in. This is ox, this is ochre and blue. Ochre and blue leaves. And I find them just in this one little dark area back in here. You know, they're gonna work their way into here, maybe even, you know, find them themselves here with just a little bit more light, white in them. But uh, back in here, they should just glow against this, this value of warmth. And so I'm just going to see a few spots here where they come out. I'm kind of ganging them together a little bit too. I'm not going to try and paint every leaf. I might need to go more in the ochre side too. It's just not, yeah. It's reading better with the ochre. 
the blue is almost blue in the ochre. So if I really didn't get enough, probably ochre in it. The ochre is really what is the color that you know lights this this blue, lightens that blue up. Just gonna put it in a few places and work it down. Best also, I don't want to be getting rid of it. Trying to keep as much dark as I can. So this is the only color that's really going to go in here into this area here. Well, I say that, but there's also some lattice work back there. You know, and anything you guys, you know, if you guys don't like it, you know, you don't have to put it in. You just got to ask uh, Allison if it's okay. You know, if you don't put it in, you, she put all this time in making this garden. So. This is an English garden, right? Yeah, this is uh, an English country garden. That's our little mm -hmm. rose garden that we, yeah. Mm, beautiful. You do a lot of gardening? Yeah, it's kind of baptism by fire. With When we bought this house, the lady um, was very keen gardener and then to keep it as beautiful as when we bought it, then yeah, we just had to keep working <laughs> at it. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I, I usually like get um, high school kids in the summer to help me, which is nice. It gives them gives them a job. It gives them a purpose, and it gets them away from their yeah. computer screens. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm just going to add just a little bit of white to that uh, ochre and uh, green mix. Just a touch of white. Because I'm looking at these flowers here up front, and it's on the blue side, or it's not flowers, but I'm not. I'm looking at the leaves of this bush here in the front, and I can see it's green, but it has a very coolness to to a few of the, to the top things. And that's all I'm going to be painting in, just the top area here, just a little bit cooler. Looks like it did not get all that way down lower on the plant stayed a little bit warmer down in here. That's a little bright. So I'm gonna go back. This is the oak cad yellow version of added it in. Yeah, it's much better. So this is uh, uh, blue and uh, ochre, but then uh, the, I, this is the part where I added cad yellow uh, to that color. And that's what I'm going to find. You're going to find in in the mass area down in, in this area here. Basically, I'm taking all those pieces and I'm going to kind of push them together and try to, you know, create a one shape where you have hundreds of shapes and just do the basic big shape. And then on the outside, maybe give it a one or a two um, dot of leaf in the right direction to kind of move it around. That's what I'm thinking. You don't want to get it too busy, but you know, hey. So I'm just going to leave that one there. Over here, I'm going to start with that color. I'm going to start with some uh, blue and um, cad yellow, uh, blue ochre and cad yellow mixes, and start to get it in here. I'm going to put it in a little bit wash it in a little bit too because I think it's going to go back to the main color. I think I can wash it in a little bit darker. I could use a nice dark in here. Okay, that's working well. Okay. I'm going to go back to the yellow version of it. This is like a mid-tone, the mid-tone, really. It's not the, not our last uh, color. Just uh, may the one that's really taken, going to be underneath a lot of this area. Get it in, push it right into the cat. 
down here in the lower area, it's going to be a highlight color. You know, when you get right to the table. So it just kind of gets one or, you know, try to keep the number of strokes down here, more dots and dashes here. And then uh, up here in the light area, we can take and, you know, bring it out a little bit more. It's basically going to be the, the shadow instead of being the highlight. I'm only going to put in, trying to keep this one area dark. It's perfect. So I'm just going to nibble on the outside of that space. Now I'm just gonna be doing highlights. I'm not gonna do anything else, any, too much into these dark areas, patches. Pretty much all I'm gonna be doing is hitting the highlight areas or the bright leaf areas, only the bright leaves, like uh, this one up here. It's the only one and it's like a, you know, basically a hand spread apart. And basically I just start with a, Thick side and just a little, little uh, flip of the brush, trying to get that thin out at the top of the leaf. This would be the darks for these leaves. And there'll be just one more highlight going in. See how fast it went? What color is that that you're using? This is uh, uh, ochre and blue with a cad, cad, cad yellow added to it. It is the medium uh, value. There is one where we have a lot more cad yellow added to it. But I'm using this one to basically Help me to design the light so I can, you know, get know where I'm going to go with it. You know how we want the light to travel back here. You know, it's a beautiful light, so I just want to see if I can capture it. Yeah, kind of a little heavier right in here, of course. And I'm just going to be painting leaves, a couple leaves. And then up here, just a little bit of scratching. I don't want at the top of my painting to have too much going on. I just want to have a few little nicks of uh, flowers at the top, you know. Anything up here, I just want to, just little pushes of leaves. Just to put, keep it from going all the way off the painting and just kind of drive you back in. And there we go. So this is going to take, take a few minutes to do, but The farther I get away out to the sides of the thing to create, start to create the distance and, and feel to it. Yeah, that's where you start to take a little bit lighter stroke. Make sure that this area here has paint over, over here. We can don't have to be quite as uh, strong with the paint, but um, even go over the bluer side of the color. more in here as we come back around to the cat's face. 
And one of the things, little things I also is you got to get right in there. You almost got you got to touch that cat. I don't want to see a halo of un, no leaves going around this cat. That's a that's the the key thing is you got to be in there. You got to be touching that fur. You can always push it out. You got to get a leaf in there every once in a while, or it's going to look like you you know you, you played chicken. You didn't you chickened out of getting in there and, and uh, that close. So that's always a little thing. Making sure you get there. Okay. I'm gonna, this color can get in here. I'm gonna have to probably pull out those pinks at the end. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want the leaves to be concentrated over here to be as strong as the ones over here. I want certain ones right behind here to balance off the strength of this cat. I want these ones, these leaves here behind his head to be strong. Good, good leaves. Over here, not so much. These guys are more undefined. So really, it'll just bounce the cat off and keep this cat standing up straight. All right, that's my mid-tone color of that. Basically did this, most of this work here and then do a couple of buying type things. Sometimes you can just squish them together. All right. Save my mask. I'm just going to do a little bit of this green and just really pound it right in here for you, and then we'll get under the cat and wrap the rest of it. Um, I'm just going to go with the same colors, just with a lot of yellow in them. This is just the brightest yellow we have here and this is where you, it is you know really comes into play is less is more in, in this area here so it's like hit the main spots first when you put the color in the spots where you're grabbing the color you knew where it was going to go. Make sure you get those spots first with the clean color before you, uh, you know, as it mixes with the paint, the green, the paint underneath here, then it comes down to, it can go into a lot of other places, but you want to make sure that you have good clean places that are really stand out compared to everything else, you know, so not everything has the same um, value. So you're gonna have things now just an easy, easy way to uh, make things jump. This green right underneath is her chin. Right? Just a little bit in here in the eye, above the eyes. Right in the One right behind the ear. Okay. I'm just going to work this. Work this color. I'm going to change color. I'm going to go to a different green. I think a little, just a 
different value. I mean, one of those other green we added tons of yellow to. Just because they're going to give me a different green, but it's going to be. This one up just a little bit more. Let's just bring it around by doing a couple. Not all. All right. And now just, you know, I could be doing this for a little bit. Let's get in. I'm going to put in a little bit of the pink too. Flowers. I'm going to see about cleaning out a little bit. I don't want too much mixing green. I'll never get that color right. So I'm going to race out as much paint as I can here, just of a, this pink, kind of a pink flower right under its chin. And over here on the side here a little bit. Back of its head right in here. It's sad that I don't. I'm gonna move the green, I think. I don't wanna have lose too much of that dark there. And I'll use this to really trim out that ear spot. And that pink go right in here. So we have to get a little bit deeper. There we go. Definitely want to paper like think about that tip of the year. I have to come back and put it in. Okay. Good clean brush for my pinks. I'm gonna go with the basic cooler pink first. Uh, but with just a doesn't have just um, lizard and the, just the lizard and uh, sorry. So I'm just going to bring that in here, get that strongly in here. Probably not dark enough, could have been a little bit richer. Too much white. Oops. A lot of a little bit of oxide red got in my uh, brush here because I was going to try to um, get this color just a little richer. Look for shadows and stuff here. I want to get a few of these things in here. And I was trying to do it with a uh, lizard, but my uh, lizard is a little polluted back there. I got my colors a little close together lately. And uh, oxide red into that color, which is, you know, kind of cool. Didn't work. It worked out. I just got to get 
head oxide around my brush before I go on because it's just going to dirty up all my colors again. That was a color we did not make up. It was just basically this color, just a little bit of oxide red. Look for little dots of pink in here, just little ones, little teeny ones to bring you around, keep you from going off the edge here. Okay. I'm gonna go with that richer, different, it's a different flower up here, but so it's just, it's, just, it's pink, but it just has a little bit of warmth to it. So this is just a little, Cad red into that that mix. Right. And then now I might just dirty it up enough that I can get a little pink in, in behind these ears. You know, and it's not going to just stand out like I use clean color. Sometimes you want dirty color in certain places. Gonna go back to the clean color. For this area here. It's gonna go through and get some of these. I'm gonna use the oxide red and blue too, I think, or oxide red and uh, pink a little bit here too. Get up height. I don't want these things to be too feel too clumpy too. They get kind of clumpy. We come down here. Maybe get another one down there. Low. I got a couple little ones down here. Now we start to get the pink moving around. Then in these darks, just keep it really simple to back in here. You know, just three flowers, major flowers, everything else is just dashes of, of red. Now it doesn't get too heavy. Use that red. I just want to bring that around. Find the little dots of red, bring me back around to this guy. Back in there. Get these guys here, point back down. So they line up with the, the way the ear is pointing. And And everything else, just a little, maybe, you know, I'm gonna go in and probably really push a couple of these colors here. That was, uh, let's get some strength here. You know, get the highlights of the centers. That's about it for the, I'm going to be treating those guys. I'm not going to be doing uh, too much, uh, you know, flower work. I'm going to be petal. I'm not doing petals. I'm just. I want the cat and the uh, the cat and the the things to be in the same space. I don't want one to dominate too much. Fight the cat's in front of these guys, so you can't go and paint every flower petal or you're going to get, um, you know, it won't work. It's gonna end up being, you know, too much information back there. So just, you know, get the clumps.
and then uh, we'll really down here. See about these flowers down here, just to help me bring bring this. Give me something down in here. A couple flowers. Everyone really low here. Ah. Backgrounds, sorry in there. I mean, there are some vines and little things to do, and those are just knife work. But the cat, let's get on to the cat. Well, we've got 15 minutes to paint the cat. Oh, let's take a break now. Yeah, let's take a break. It's easy. Thing. Toughest thing is when you run out of something in the middle. I'm running out of paper towels. So wiping them off, it goes back through and find paper towels that are I can use. All right. So I got a lot of darkness in here in, in this cat. Now we're going to be painting the cat pretty much the whole rest of the way, which is fine. Got a half an hour. Let's paint this cat. We got the darks in. We got things where it's about right. We're gonna work uh, basically, still work basically mid tone to light. Now we got the darks in. We just got to bring in the lights. This is where we're gonna, I'm gonna start working in color. I'm gonna start working. Uh, you know, he's basically one color with the uh, burnt sienna and blue uh, and white. Now I'm gonna go and put in the red section where I added cad red to the color and look for that. That would probably be over here a little bit on the outsides areas of this fur. Just a little bit. I know it's right up here. I know it's right here on the top of his head, right up here. And that's almost too bright. Oh man, that's too bright. Just work it in a little bit. Work it in on his hair and mix and I'll fall back in the space. Okay, need to be warmed up. I might add just a little bit of going into it. Yeah, just a touch more of that ochre that lime green we made for back here one of these leaves just put that in there a little bit in that basic color here because i thought the uh needs to get these little bit of tanness to it and that tan is just gonna be in this green because i put that color down it's kind of a little red Needs to be, and the ochre one is not right. Is not, not what I wanted there. This color is going to do the outline of his shoulder too, right up here. Right now, I'm not going to have to worry. I'm not really. Uh, Thinking about strokes, I am kind of, I am kind of, you know, contouring it. You know, like every all the everything is a downstroke. Everything's a kind of spreads out. It comes from the neck, and everything just kind of radiates out, stroke wise, as you come down. And you can see it really strong right around the belly area here, where you, you know, 
underneath the arms and everything where things just start to radiate out. So I'm just, I am keeping that in mind as I, I stroke down. Hmm. Try not to get everything. Okay. Some areas are right already. That value is right and everything. So just cross over the legs here and get the other side a little bit. Tone in the elbow here. Let's see, I have the elbow in the right spot. Kind of a, everything's just slightly at a angle here for me. So from my angle, everything drawing is perfect. Usually when I get in front of it, that's when I find out that, yeah, that angle I was looking at, uh, working from slightly off. All right. Like I said, just kind of bringing that stroke around. That is uh, about it there. I mean, I'm gonna need to get a little darker here. Jim, can you tell me where did you put the one that has a little more red in it? Uh, I put it up here in his head, right up oh. here. Oh, okay. That's that's when I when I thought I thought it was gonna work over in here. That's when I decided that uh, that color needed just a hair of green into it, yellow green into it, the richness to. Okay, so that at the very top right of his there. head, between his ears, kind of. Yeah, right here to the back of his head, going okay. into, into this area right here. Okay. That's where I put it. And this is where. We That's fun. That's fun. You know, I still got to, you know, really just figure out this, you know, I'm waiting to put in this couple of lines here because I got to have a, just get a cleaner, good, sharp brush to do it. Uh, so that's the main tones going in. I'm going to go with that redder area again. We just talked about and look for it down here in this right here, right by the tail, and the fur pushing out from his feet right in here, and going up a little bit into this area. Okay. Now I feel like I have, okay. Now we're gonna make it a Siamese cat. Time to make it a Siamese cat. <laughs> now we start put the lights in. Now we're gonna go to our lighter colors, the ochre side. This is the ochre side of that. Color. And when you start to put it in, I'm going to start putting it in up here and pushing it into this, you know, right here radiates out from this one spot right in here. I'm going to even push my brush a little bit so I get a softer trail. I mean, at the beginning of the brush stroke, go back and soften those guys up. I'm gonna look for that color again, right behind his ear. You know, right there, I still got, I didn't touch that color, Mary Beth. I did not touch it. I just added to, to, to that little spot there. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back here into the shoulder here 
and push that all back. There's just a like a ring of fur right there, two rings of fur really, right here above his shoulders. I'm just gonna go back and just loosen the tips of the brush first of the stroke. And then there's just, like I said, the second ring just inside that, inside here, going back in the same area. And that's what I see. That's what I see. These, this comes down, this ring here. The fur comes down into the back of his arm there. Okay. This, this is the ochre version where I added ochre to uh, burnt sienna and burnt umber. Okay. Now the big ring right here into his front of his shoulder. Mm -hmm leg here. I'm going to get, put it in a little heavier. I want the, the paint to kind of come off. Oop, just a little bit more paint. I'll stir off light and then push it and then just flick it. Try to get that right in here. Just get a little more weight to the fur color right in there too. Might have to go. It looks like I'm gonna have to go in with just a lighter version of this yet. But as I'm saying, I'm not trying to again get rid of the color underneath. That has to show through. So these strokes I'm putting in, you know, have to uh, kind of marry in there. They have to intertwine a little bit. They have to not uh, just wipe out all that color underneath. He needs that, you need that dark, that little areas of dark there to kind of feel like a, you know, that make that underneath the fur feel like fur. Just that little stripe right there. I'm going to go and do his uh, belly area here coming out. And that's definitely just going to be a twist, you know, push. I'm going to push it in. And I'm just going to flick it out, brush out, and get that softness. I wanted to rate the brush to, uh, to just open up, you know, so it's tight here. It's pushed down. And then when I let it up, how to just let it flick, you know, gets that softness that, that I was looking for. Of course, it doesn't do it everywhere, but it gets those main things. Okay. He said, I'll probably have to do a few more, one more layer of lightness. Let me try this over here. This is uh, it's on the red side with white in it. So it's just a little cooler. I'm going to go back and just flick these colors right on top of this layer. Yeah, it works. So just taking a even my lick is light. Just to get that. I can just come back in here. That's going to be pretty much. Yeah. 
from that. Now I think a lighter yellow one, ochre one, would be, would be for this final little area up here in the neck. Maybe my might do how it works. I'm just gonna flick a few. Get a few that just kind of cross over and just hide that ring a little bit. And those rings we made of fur. And have a few, you know, just a couple little longer areas that kind of come through and kind of pull a few of these areas together like that. And then, then I'm going to get that highlight on to get the this guy. This is a stabbing. It's going to be a stabbing brush stroke where you start it off and you just push it in and you do this this fur coming down here it's just a push it's a stab with the tip of your brush to you get it in the spot and just push it in a little bit i'm just trying to leave the pain at the beginning of the stroke one more time just a little more paint And do we want to, you know, put on the collar? Anybody, we want to put the collar on or chickens? We have a bunch of chickens. Yeah. Chickens don't want to put it on. This color here, this is a belly color, the underneath fur color. This is uh, umber and blue and white at the very high key area. That's what this is. That's that's where it just separates this out. And I'm going to look have to look for a couple little places. So, do we say yes on that? Was that Mary Beth? You wanted to see it? Uh, the collar, no. I, I'm I'm afraid. <laughs> Got so many colors in there right now. Okay. Um, oh, let me cut to it. One last thing here. Um, yeah, gonna go back to that burnt umber and blue mix. Burnt umber and blue mix with just a little bit of white added to it. Gonna keep it on the burnt umber side. And right here, by his eye, under going down to his nose, I'm gonna put that in just a little bit different. That will make uh, that burnt sienna stand out a little bit. See it? And get that one little area above his eye. Right that nose really kind of little reddish. Um, one more, God dang it. Yeah. One little dark, this kind of red dark. I need this little red dark right here in the corner of his eye. Straighten out the drawing. This is the brush I can do these this kind of stuff with. You just get these ears straightened out and get that uh, 
was the last year in, I didn't put in. That would be probably like a, that was a burnt umber and blue, even just a little bit of white. Yeah, it's a touch too much white. Take like one line here on the inside of his, his ear, right here. One line. Time-wise, we are there. We need to start looking at people's work. I'll bring you guys in for a close one. I'm going to put the eyeball in, but I'm going to put it in with my knife. I'm going to put it in with a green, probably. Let me see if it's not too bright. That was huge. Okay, bring it in. It's, uh, I haven't put the lines in the in there, but you know, you start to see some of the fur how the fur is going in, warms against cools, and some of the pinks back there. Okay, let's see. Mary Beth's all set up. I guess she's ready to go. Oh, hang on just a minute. I just tried to put the eye in and I completely screwed okay. up. Okay. I know. Yeah. That. Okay. Let's see. Who else is showing here? Everybody turn on your mics. Allison, she's getting ready. She turns on her mic. She's ready. Okay. Anne Marie's up. Well, oh. Allison. Oh. Oh. Let yep. me see. Anne Marie first. You ready? Yeah. Let me get my. Okay. Canvas. Okay. How would you do? No oh, wow. Wow. Very nice. Oh. Wow, nice. That was those greens are gorgeous back there. Congrats on those things. That's a good looking cat. Um I'm working with the working, cat. I'm still working on pussy cat. So give me some tips. Okay. <laughs> uh definitely I think I think he could go a little bit longer. I think it looks a little little squat. I think the back end could go probably, you know, I think where you got the tail, uh, probably one tail long, well, lower. Okay. And with the tail lower, a little bit, that's about it. Yeah, I think the tail got just moved up a little bit. Uh, okay. But otherwise, I love those. I love the handling of the greens back there. Those are really expressive. Um, and, uh, yeah, they have a nice feel to them. I think you just bring out maybe one or two. And when you get, you know, and you you got your pinks in there nicely. Uh, boy, that's going to be nice. I think this will be real nice. Um, definitely, I would think maybe the, the lines in the in in the table will help your, yours, too. I yeah. think that will help. So okay. I definitely think about putting those guys in. Right. Um, really nice greens back there. That's just beautiful. I mean, that goes with the cat really well. Okay. Good job. Thanks. Allison, this is your problem. 
Let's see what you did. You should. <laughs> oh my, you should I'm have so, I'm really messed up because I I got the drawing oh, oh, wrong. No messing up. No. I did, but I have time tomorrow. But so okay. I'm very very behind everyone because I tried to correct the drawing. So there we go. Oh, you worked on the oh, drawing as nice. well. Yeah. But, no, but I mean, hey. Yeah. The cat no, drawing. Well, nice. Yeah. The, with the, oh. Thank you. See how rusty you've gotten. You've gotten so rusty on us. No. I know. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, first thing I would say, definitely go get a little, go for the dark, get, make sure you've got the dark greens in there under and behind them. That's what's going to push, push them forward. I think you can go a little bit stronger on those guys as you go uh, before you, you know, put in, go into the leaves and stuff. Really get those guys uh, patches of dark back there really strong. Um, he looks great. I mean, he looks well drawn. Looks like he did spend some good time on him. Uh, let's see, width wise, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think the tail could well, probably come down lucky. just a hair more, but I think the yeah. tail we thicken that tail up. But I, if you're going to thick it up, thicken it on the downside. I think uh, he's don't take away from any yeah. more height. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's you know otherwise his markings are good. Uh, looks like a very proud cat. Um, that's what I. That's what I got out of it. So um, yeah, that's gonna be. That'll work out fine when you get there and get those darks in uh, really strong behind there, and then dig into them. Okay. Okay. I, All I'll right. To finish and post tomorrow. All right. I'll send it to you. I'll send you the link of this class again. You take another look. All right, Cindy. Thank you. Are you oh, going to do you? any more work on yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put another, you know, I got, you know, I got a lot of little things to do on it. Yeah. Cindy, Cindy did not want to show ours. Cindy, <laughs> where do you go? Cindy? I want to see your ceiling. Well, how come <laughs> I, let's do that. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Uh oh. <laughs> now you're dark. You're well, dark there too. Are. There you go. Okay, my dilemma, of course, was I had to do a different cat because my friend's cat died. So I'm doing this for her. And yeah. so I have a calico. Oh. 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 But I'm just that is starting. Nice. I mean, she's got so many colors in her fur. So I'm trying to work with that. Yeah. So yeah. Take it easy on how many, you know, how you put those things in. Don't make, because they're all just kind of blend together. Really know where you've got to be at the end and use that to uh you know for you don't mess, muddy up all your other colors you know so try well, i would say on this one yeah try to get your orange your oranges quickly now from this part point okay. and, and that way you, uh, I should you can dry a little bit because it's sort of just squishing together but or just keep going <laughs> just keep going make it orange here um yeah we'll try it again try it again try just a little bit of oil on your brush when you grab your okay. sponges and get those guys in because you don't want them they'll blend together nicely if you get them and you're only going to get a few strokes out of that here's the cat so yeah definitely want to get those right on this the, the side areas and stuff yeah get those eyes in get those blank eyes in the blank cold eyes you have put on them. and <laughs> yeah, I want to see you. Are, you are doing what I told you not to do. Everybody not to do. I want you to know that you what? got you got a halo of you got a green halo going around your cat because you well, did not I just touch your cat. You did not touch that, your cat. You got to pet that kitty. You got to get some pinks and you got to get light greens. In here, and, mean, or I mean, here what? No, just what the outline. Just its back. Right, right, you know, you you got an outline yeah, going I, around your yeah, cat. Yeah, because I had a smaller, so I just did that, so I'll put some more. No excuses. Um, Play like a champion. Huh? Yeah. No, no, push the <laughs> Just You can even use your finger and just make sure you don't have an even color, you know, color range going all the way around. That's that is basically makes a line. So make sure you get, yeah, you did it all right up by the face, the, side, the one side of the face is fine. Yeah, just get, make sure you got three what, reds. What about, do you think that the pinks are too evenly surrounding him? Should I? I would you know, say, yeah, them? you would probably clump a, clump a couple of the bigger ones together. I would say probably for, because your cat's facing the other way, 
you're probably right. going to want the ones on the on the on the right side to be a little bit stronger. You might push like the three behind, right behind is on his back. That you have three spots, yeah. three. Push two of those together. You know, make okay, make, right. make it one, make it two instead of three. Um, okay. And then on the outside, other side, you got a clump uh, close to his chest, a little bit reds and stuff. Pull out one of those flowers. Make those flowers there strong to balance out him. Okay. Because he's on this side over here. You want to have a one clump of red that uh, can balance it out. You got three flowers right there. Pull those guys out a little bit stronger, and you'll be good. Okay. And then, and then fade just, these out a little bit more since they're in the background the more. You could, you could push those guys back then. Yeah, yeah. You, what, that probably will happen. Yeah, when you, even when you swish them together, just don't worry about it. Okay. Just push them together and then, or at least two of them together. Probably the top two. Squish those two together and, the lines, and then leave the bottom one. The lines, the lines still yeah, go this way, right? Lines no, in. That yeah, way. I, I would say your, yours could go that way because, yeah, she is kind of, kind of going the other way, you know. So go this go way towards, with the lines? Towards, towards the right bottom. Where's left, but what, like that? you know, yeah, that way, like, that way, yeah, that way. That would be a good idea. If, you know. Poster you because I know I need help with this baby. So. Oh, you do She's not. You're, okay, that's, that's the only thing I have to say that's good. I mean, yeah, you get those eyes in first before you post it. That's a scary cat without eyes. Hey there. Mm -hmm. They're kind of greenish, kind of green, grayish, greenish. Yeah, you probably you probably have a lot of those greens really close, already mixed up in the, okay. in the green. So, so you should be pretty good about putting it in easy, and then then making a few adjustments. Good, okay, thank you. no problem, Cindy, Kathy Willis, Katie Willis. <laughs> Katie. Yeah. Okay, and, next well, person. Let's. We're not looking at Katie's. We don't <laughs> want to look at Katie's now. She's gonna pull, pull this crap. Look at that cat. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Those. Oh well. You thanks. got some beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You got a lot of glare on it. That's the bad thing about it. You got glare on it. <laughs> Here we go. It is glary, isn't it? All right. Now. Katie, we're just kidding you. We're joshing you. You're, it's look, you know, yeah, you got glare probably because it's light behind you. Yeah. Um, take it off to your side a little bit. Turn it, turn it to the side. Yeah, there, there, there. like the. Okay, good job. Um, wow, mm -hmm. you can just see what happens when you start start uh, blending these things out. These colors really work well. Nice job on that. That cat is jumping out of there. Your greens, are beautiful back there nicely done and see what happens when you don't listen to me and you put white are you going to paint those flowers pink or you just got white ones in there no i'm going to paint them pink i'm just checking with you you know they don't they don't look bad but white for they you pulled them out really good uh yeah your, your yeah, greens used to are really pink. nice back there nice and rich it has oh, a thanks. lot of uh really good yeah. job on that you did not over over design your uh, flowers you can tell that right off the bat yeah work on the cat finish the cat up uh you know uh are you gonna go cut collar or no collar uh i may try the collar there you go that's a brave girl and then you're gonna put the slats in or you're not yes yeah i'm gonna okay. i'm gonna try. i already all right gotta give you a chance to ruin it that's all I'm trying to do is give you one chance to ruin it. Um, that's really nice. That color, that rich, that is that you used my you use my color mixes I gave you. Yes, I did. You, good, good. They work. They beautifully. Uh, mix them right this time, right? Oh boy, that's that's a good looking. You can tell that's a Siamese a mile away. Good job. I like it a lot. Definitely post that when you're done. Okay. That's gorgeous so far. Beautiful. Nicely designed, too. I like that, the size of the cat in there. That's really good. Oh. All right. Oh, Congrats. Thanks. She's moving. Mary Beth. We're going to move on okay. to Mary Beth before she can All put right. it down. Nice. <laughs> nice. 
Yeah. Okay, Mary Beth, you screwed up the eye. Let's see what you did. Ooh. I covered oh, the eye. Mary. That's nice. That is, you know, that's a that's pretty cool. That's almost like these are almost like apple apple blossoms behind there. Um yes, could be like very a oriented. cherry blossoms. Okay. Hey, yeah. you're very it made me very nervous with those flowers and because I worked so hard on the back. I usually lose the darks in the back, but for some reason I kept a little of them today. You did. You did. You go overwork. You worry too much. Great drawing on the cat. The cat looked fabulous. Good job. I mean, just the way you have the cat in there, very kind of simply like that. Yeah, we Allison hit it right. Very oriental looking. Very, you know, very cool, very clean and cut, cut out. Nice, nice shape to the, your uh, your shadow on here on them too, going on the table. Um, what else are you gonna? What are you gonna thinking about doing? Well, I'm I'm thinking maybe I put a little dot of a color you said for his eye, and I think I'll just, but it's only gonna be a dot. And then I'm thinking what the whiskers with his with a knife. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to do much else because I, I really did kind of lose the darks in the cat, but I kind of put them back in, but it's not the same when you put them back in. It always um, is a little bit goofy. Yeah. yeah you almost, so. yeah, you gotta, yeah, but you can, you know, I would say you could still work that at least uh, a little bit, but not, you know, it's come along really well. Um, I like it a lot. I think it's, uh, you know, well done. I think, yeah, you sh if you're going to stay with that oriental kind of feel, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Don't know, you know, you, if you're meaning that or not, but it's you're working out pretty well. Oriental on the cat or on the background? The what background and the cat and stuff. That oh, okay. feel very, you know, that's why we're saying with the, the way you have everything cut out very cleanly right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, um, so you got a lot of hard edges and stuff. They well, all I, have I tried so to go over the I tried to go over the edge with the fur onto the background because I think that helps it look like fur. But you don't think I should mush mm -hmm. it a little? Yeah, I definitely mush it. I was just, okay. I mean, the way you have it right now is very oriental. It looks like an oriental oh, okay. rug painting or, or one of those oh, paintings okay. and stuff. So okay. that's I'm, I'm saying it's a compliment. Okay, so it's really okay. good. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, you got the proportions right on the cat, and uh, good job on that. Um, yeah, just keep working on the colors. Like, yeah, you could probably go a little bit, a lot darker on the legs and fur. Yeah. Uh, yes. on, the, on the downsides and stuff. Yeah. But uh, drawing wise, you got it all there. It's just really just coloring it up a little bit stronger. Basically, yeah, just hitting the more burnt siennas in the blue area, and that I think you'll be fine. Face is great. You got the hard part done. Congrats. Thank you. Let's see how long we can get, keep her holding it. Let's just <laughs> sit here and hold water. Okay. Okay. Real funny. Molly. Yeah. Okay. Molly, Hi. you awake? Molly, you awake? I'm here. Did you I'm paint? here. Oh, gosh, that's scary. <laughs> I scared <laughs> myself. Here, let me turn it around. <laughs> Hang on here. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, my word. That's incredible. That is really, really, thank really, really you. good. Sticking up that tail, the bottom to well, tail, just you. a little bit on the back bottom side of it. Thicken that up. Uh, and then, you know, when you get there, Okay. I love the way you handled everything. Everything, you know, the cat feels like she's part of the pain and she's part of the outside. She belongs. Great job on that. Um, did you, I put a collar on her. <laughs> the collar's good. I mean, it does. It's not. It does not jump out at us and say, you know, anything wrong. Uh, I like that. I yeah. I didn't. I didn't have any problems with it. I just, you know. You know, Allison was just being chicken about putting it in. <laughs> I, I think I need to change the angle. It's not uh, slanted quite right. But anyway, I was just playing to see. If... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know, but it could go in very easily like that. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't bother me. I didn't really, you know, 
you might not want it all the way going across the neck. Maybe you can hide the back end of it so it's just in the front and to the three quarters. That way, it doesn't cut. Yeah, I need to the head from the thing. Yeah, cover it with some fur. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just on the back end, one side of it. That way, uh, you know, just it just stands out in the chest area. Okay. Uh, your your flowers back there are beautiful. Good job on the on the, on the way you indicated those. The way you put those things in looks very confident and uh, meaningful. Uh, you know, and and it goes really well with your cat. Um, did you put a few flower pigments? You did. You put some some blossoms on the table, didn't you? I you did. You cheat. <laughs> I, I wasn't gonna give. I was gonna give any of that away. You know, <laughs> things you could do. You know, to dress that up, and you know, but you cheat. You damn it. Good job. Yeah. Fabulous job, Molly. Congrats. Well. Well, thank All right. you. Thank you so Lynette. much. Okay, no worries. We're going to Lynette. At her. She has to turn on her mic. Lynette, you didn't turn your mic <laughs> I'm just on. Working on uh, breaking hey. up, uh, breaking up this cat so I can get going. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, nice. oh beautiful! Oh. That background. Love it. Oh. Wow. Sorry, I don't have a cat meowing behind me. <laughs> I got a dog. All right. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. It's very mushy, and um, I'm having a lot of problems with the face and the fur. Don't worry about oh, it. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's oh, I done. think your face oh. is beautiful. Your yeah, fat face is great. You just got to. You got to. You got to punch back to it a little bit though you got to soften that one little point in its back okay soften that out a little bit I got a, I that one area right by the bricks or something that no, it's back there's comes out and it should be a little rounder so well as everybody showed their showed their paintings i started making some changes okay. on mine <laughs> smart changes it's, it's nice to see last leave the background alone. Do oh, not no. touch not that out. anymore. That's gorgeous. The way you have that going back there, and it goes so well with that cap. It's okay. fabulous. You just gotta, yeah, just change that that one little spot in his back. It's just uh, the, it just it's too steep. Just more a little more gray, gray, uh, gradual uh, in the shoulder there, and it's back. Well, it's back to its to its neck. Okay. It's just soften like, that up. Just yeah, push that in. Like you know, bring out those yeah. paws a little bit stronger in the front. A little bit stronger color. Yes. Uh, and I think you're you're right there. Everything else is done. You know, and I I you know if you make this cement like that, you just leave it as cement. You've got it made too. Just I would steal what Molly did and put a little flower there. Put a color. Put a flower. A flower. Put a put okay. a flower in in on the cement, just a, a bud or something like that. You know, just to break it up. I don't know. Okay. Making it cement is a good idea. I think that would be a fabulous idea. Lower, okay. keeping it lower. It would work Where too. did you suggest the flower? Sorry. Yeah, down by the tail. Oh. You know, okay. in the just on the edge, just one little one little dot of color, one okay. petal. I know you got a good That's example. a pink petal and then you know you know a couple little strands of stuff on the back little dots and that's okay. it. You know. Okay. Fabulous. Really great guys. Really nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's so much yeah. fun to join the Saturday group. Yeah, well, we're the fun group, you know. Well, yeah, we're you're, the fun group. <laughs> you're the professionals. <laughs> oh my god they are yeah they're full of themselves i tell you the problem is they get very full of themselves very quickly do you guys yeah, want so. to see the living model yes yes okay I'll yes. Do this yeah yes let's see her she's going to get it oh <laughs> You'll see her running around back there, back and forth. You know, as soon as you want to get the cat, the cat's going to run. You oh, never kind of catch it. Uh-oh, she did. 
Yeah, you too. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> mine, it, our yeah. face doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, darling. Oh, look at oh. her. Oh. She's what a beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, she's very cute. Yeah. Oh, very cute. so cute. You have two? You have two of them? Yes, they're sister and brother. Most of the time, I think right. they hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah she's gorgeous nice Thank look you. at those yeah you don't see siamese very often anymore no so it's surprising know. to see you have them yeah you know the yeah. siamese to me i had one years ago i told allison the siamese to me is the epitome of feline beauty oh yeah yeah i agree always will okay. be yeah. But you know, I, I read some, that these are great, we live in the countryside and so they, they're hunters as well. And every day, every day there's some rodent that, and they eat them as well. And I, I was Good. reading about it. Home. Yeah, and why, is it just Siamese or was it, you know, there's a subset of cats that are like this. And then this one bit had posted something online and it said Siamese are the psycho killers of the cat world. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even she brings in snakes. She catches snakes. Wow. And wow. Oh, and then and she lets them go. <laughs> Unfortunately the lets the snakes go. Yeah. I'll I'll post a little <laughs> video of what she did with one snake on our group if you want. <laughs> But, yeah, but you know, they usually it's mice or some other little rodent, and then they eat them. So that's okay. They they don't hurt yeah. the ducks that we have, which is good. Yeah. Ah. Oh, rabbits! They like catching rabbits. Oh, my dog broke yeah. out plenty of rabbits in the house. Mm -hmm. Little baby yeah. rabbits. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. They are psycho killers. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks. Thanks so much for letting us paint your cat. Oh, yeah, thank you. Guys. Thank you. I mean, everyone did such a good job. I'm embarrassed, but I'm going to make it up tomorrow. <laughs> ha, ha. Yes, Allison, that has been thrown. The gauntlet has been thrown down to you. Yes. You yes, got to yes. make up for it. Yes, I will. But, uh, yeah. Well, I'm, that was our last class, guys. That was the last one. And oh, um, did, you, did you 